Hello folks, this is Singin' Toad, and uh, I'd like to uh, talk about a brand new knife that I uh, recently acquired, and uh, this is a uh, Groman knife. Now, the box here says um, Groman belt knife, but this is <laughs> not the belt knife. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but uh, this uh, particular knife is a... Um, uh, what they call a, uh, a slim knife, or um, I probably have that wrong, but uh, we'll get into that momentarily here. But anyway, uh, this is a like a classic traditional slip joint type knife. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll open up the box. Actually, before I do that, we'll take a look at the where it says here. So um, it says slim folder, and of course uh, it is in rosewood. So that's the model number, the uh, R60S. And this is the website if you want to check uh, Groman knives out. And then we basically have nothing else uh, on the box. Um, now this is the price tag from the uh, store that I purchased it at, which is a local uh, uh, tackle uh, out outdoors uh, store to where I live. But I've gone ahead and blacked out the price only because um, you can actually get this knife for a little bit cheaper off their website. I did pay a little bit extra, you know, the uh, f for the fact that I was buying it in a convenience from a store. But uh, not not terribly more expensive, only only a few bucks more than what the website says. But anyway, um, this is the information on the actual box here. I don't know how well the camera picked that up. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll open this up, and we have the knife. So as you can see, it has this beautiful rosewood with these three brass pins, brass bolsters, and of course we have the uh, the Groman warranty in behind. Um, so, in behind here, this is just the, the growing warranty, and then there's the receipt of what I uh, paid for it. But we're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. And actually, I'm going to turn it over so you can see the nail neck. Um, so, I believe they call this the slim line, if I remember correctly. And as you can see, it's, it's quite thin. So, this... Uh, uh, grid is in imperial scale so it's in inches so you can see that it's uh, these are half inch squares so if I place it right on a line you know you can see that it's just a wee bit less than half an inch so you know it's about a sixteenth maybe an eighth half uh, less than half an inch uh, in thickness so it's quite thin and if we place it kind of on the line here you can see that it's a little bit less than one inch in height. Uh, now if we put it on, on a line here, so closed, we have about one, two, three, almost just a little bit shy of four inches here, uh, closed to length. But uh, again, the camera's not really doing it much justice, but look at the beautiful rosewood. Isn't that pretty? And that brass. So let's go ahead and open this guy up so we can see the blade. As I mentioned, it is a, uh, or I think I mentioned, it's a slip joint. So it's a traditional knife. Doesn't really have much in the way of walk and talk. I mean, there is a little bit of a stop there. And there's a bit of a stop right here too. So if I press, it does kind of want to stop right there. And then it closes. So it's not overly loud. It's smooth. Though. I mean it's very very smooth opening and closing but there is actually one two three four hmm kind of reminds me of something else like a Colt single action <laughs> when you cock the hammer back on one you can you can say C-O-L-T with the uh, with, with the with the, uh, the, the, the the way the hammer will cock back um, but uh, yeah, very smooth, very quiet. Uh, how long is the blade? So if we place the blade, now it does have a sharpening choil. I'm not sure if you can see that. That is a nice touch. I do like that. It's a clip point, obviously. So one, two, two and a half, two and an eighth, or sorry, two and a uh, what are we talking here? 
my brain is not functioning right now. <laughs> I'm really tired, guys. Uh, it's, it's late at night when I'm filming, um, but uh, I'll, I'll wind up putting in some specs here of what the uh, what the, uh, the the specs of the knife are here. But uh, you know, you can kind of see one, two, two and a half, and a little bit more than two and a half uh, long. If we put the from you know tip to tail, so we're all together. One, two, three, four, five, six not quite seven inches in total length very thin uh, what does it say here on the on the blade now I don't know if the camera will oh it's upside down the camera may not pick that up but it does say Groman Picton NS which stands for Nova Scotia Canada of course this is made in Canada out in Nova Scotia on this side of the blade it just simply says stainless there we go. Can I get that to show up now? There you go. You can kind of see that better. Uh, of course, this being uh, a highly polished uh, blade with uh, brass bolsters, it's going to be a fingerprint magnet. Very lightweight. I'm not sure how much this knife weighs, but it is very light. Um, now, for those of you who are who followed my channel, you might say. Singing Toad, why are you why are you getting into one of these uh, these kind of knives here? You know, this isn't a modern tactical folder or something. Uh, yeah, it's a classic slip joint, and well, what kind of got me started <laughs> was from watching uh, Patty at Potato Peeler's channel. Uh, he's into a lot of these classic type uh, knives, and this here was actually the first one that I got. Uh, this is a Rough Rider. Uh, I believe they call this a Barlow style, and of course, it has a clip point type blade. So if you place the two of them uh, side by side, you will see, can I line up the blades? You know, it's a little bit shorter here, but of course this is a, a classic, um, you know, now this one's got very snappy. It's got two blades, and you can really hear that click, which I really, really like that nice click. Of course it's got the G10 with the, um, uh, the blue and the black. So this is a very, very uh, uh, nice, uh, beautiful knife. But this was my first kind of traditional classic design knife from Rough Rider. And, you know, I, I love Groman knives. Um, you know, they're kind of an institution here in Canada. They've been around since basically 1961 was kind of the found, uh, formation of the company. And, you know, how could I not have a, a classic slip joint knife in my collection uh, that isn't, you know, a, a Groman. So, a nice little knife. Um, and, you know, something that's uh, a rather interesting fact is that uh, Ray Mears, um, who was uh, who was on a TV show, uh, now, I mean, his name, he <laughs> he's uh, uh, infamous in the bushcraft uh, realm, but um, he was on a TV show on the BBC uh, many years ago, and I can't think of the name of it at the moment, uh, something wilderness, something or other. But um, he did make a comment about this knife because he carried this knife, um, or one like it, and uh, and he did speak rather highly about it. So I mean that's high praise coming from a guy like Ray Mears. So um, you know what can I say about that? But yeah, very classic design, very lightweight. Uh, it's not terribly sharp out of the box, but I mean it, I mean it's it's sharp enough. I mean this this will cut. But definitely the blade will need to be touched up. You know, classic slip joint design, non-locking. So for my friends in the United Kingdom, this would be UK friendly. Uh, the blade's under three inches long. It's non-locking. You know, very, very classic design. So there we go. So we have a nice classic slip joint knife. And I guess I'm going to finish this video off by just doing a, qu a couple quick size comparisons. So I already did one with the uh, uh, with the Rough Rider. Uh, let's go ahead and compare it. I'm just going to slide it upwards a little bit here, and we're going to compare it against a Spyderco NATO 5 lightweight. And I'm going to try and put the edge of the the sharpening recoss on the same line just to give you an overall size design, so you can see. I mean, it's not it's not really really small. If anyone's familiar with the Spyderco NATO 5, of course this is in a CPM S30V. But uh, great little knife, by the way, the uh, the, the uh, Spyderco. Uh, and we'll go ahead and compare it against a fixed blade here. What do I happen to have on hands? I happen to have a Gerber Gator fixed blade. So let's go ahead and put the edge of the blade 
you know, so this is a Gerber Gator. Uh, this is the one in 420 blade steel. Again, made in Portland, Oregon. Classic design. This knife's been around a long time as well. And, uh, well, what else can I compare it against? <laughs> How about the Groman Canadian belt knife? There we go. So, let's just go ahead and slide it down a little bit. So here's the Groman Canadian belt knife. And, you know, again, the Groman folder knife. Just for some quick size comparisons. So... What lies can I tell you about this thing uh, here? <laughs> uh, what I can say is that I really, really like this guy. I mean, it's it's a classic little knife. It's very lightweight. This could easily be a gentleman's knife. I could easily slip this in a in a suit uh, jacket pocket, or uh, you know, present this at a wedding. You know, very non-threatening. Very smooth, though. I mean, I love how smooth that is. But yeah, there is there is some half stops in there. It's just kind of weird the way it is, you know, it's it's kind of like ratchety, you know. But not clickety, if that makes any sense. But yeah, look at that rosewood, isn't that pretty? Anyway, folks, if you're thinking about getting into uh, traditional, you know, slip joint knives, um, you know, something like this is something I'd recommend getting. You know, the Grohlman uh, knife has been around a long, long time. Uh, and, uh, oh, by the way, this is in uh, 4116 uh, German stainless steel which to the best of my knowledge is very comparable with like 440, 420. It's somewhere in around there. Again, I'm not a metal urgist, folks, so please don't quote me on that. But, you know, German 4116 stainless steel is very, very similar to 420 and 440. It's, it's in around the same ballpark. So it's not a super awesome high-end blade steel, but it's not crap either. Anyway, I just thought I would show you this nice little dandy beautiful Grohlman slip joint knife. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Is it something you'd be interested in having in your collection? You can order them off Grohlman's website and get them off of Blades Canada for example. There's many places you can find this knife. It's not terribly expensive and it's a good way to get into you know some modern or some traditional uh, design knives. Anyway that's all I really have to say about that today, folks. This is Singing Toad signing out. Thanks for watching.